Hey, hey, and welcome to Strap a Watch. I'm Michael Knapp, Michael Knapp Leather. Today's episode's gonna be pretty cool. I had a subscriber that had ordered a strap, uh, alligator, black leather alligator strap for a brand new Zen 104 that he bought. So here's a quick look at the watch. It's just gorgeous. So the neat thing about it is this subscriber, he's a local guy and was able to stop by last week and allow me to measure his wrist size so that I could really customize the strap for him. And he was just in, I just had interviewed him because he was picking the watch up. So you're gonna see that interview here shortly. We're gonna go into more depth on the Zin 104 and you're gonna see me hand make the alligator strap for the watch. Stick around after the intro, we're gonna get right into it. Well, hey, welcome back to Strap a Watch. I'm here with Jim, who ordered a alligator strap that turned out really beautiful. And again, he had ordered this uh, Zin 104. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about how was you know what what made you pull the trigger and decide on the Zin 104 first off. Well, I, you know I've wanted a I've wanted a good watch for years and years. Um, Back in the 80s, I'm dating myself, but all my Marine Corps buddies were buying Rolexes. Yeah. And that back then, they were uh, we were going overseas on uh, deployments, and they would go to Hong Kong or something. They were buying Submariners. They were like $1,500. Back then. Back yeah. then. I know. But when you're only making 1000 a month. Right, um, <laughs> right. No, I know. <laughs> it was still a lot of money. Yeah. And so I've wanted one for years, and then I, they, they just got priced out of it. Yeah. Out of you money. can't even get them, even from authorized dealers right now. Yeah. So. So I thought, well, I want a, I want a really nice watch, but I guess everybody's got their own price point on how much you're willing to spend. And so I got Beautiful. inspired by your videos, and yeah. uh, I came real close to a Christopher Award. And then uh, just hours and hours of research between your episodes. I've got mine I saw on your as Zin, well. Which yeah. I had never heard of Zen until I saw yours. Yeah, it's a German watch manufacturer started in 1961. And they're just, they're awesome tool watches. So, and you bought the one with the blue face. Was it just caught your eye or what? Well, I'm going to retire soon. Okay. And I want it, I'm old school. I kind of wanted a retirement watch. Yeah. Uh, when I was growing up, old you know, people that retired got company watches. Well, <laughs> they're not going to give you they one. They don't do that anymore. And millennials don't, aren't interested in that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I kind of said, you know, I'm going to get my own. And so I have a little German in me. My yeah. company was founded by it was German, yeah. and the company color is blue. Oh, I love okay. blue. So there's a little bit of symbolism in it all. Me too. And uh, so it's kind of like. Uh, I did 30 plus years with this company. Yeah. And so I just kind of, that's my retirement watch. Well, cool, <laughs> man. No, it's gorgeous. So, you know, I finished the strap last night. You were able to see me uh, hand make the strap. He ordered it with a deployment clasp. So let's uh, let's put it on, man. I can't wait. All right. Beautiful. This turned like out this. Just exceeded my So turn your wrist this way. There we go. So the deployment clasp, just like that, Jim. And then it just, you snap it. You'll do this easier than me. There you yeah, go. Yeah. How's Perfect it feel? Fit. Perfect. Sweet. I love it. Yeah. I love it when a plan comes <laughs> together. Because typically, you know, I've said it before on the show. And no, I'm not really that short. Jim's just really tall. Um, that I never usually get to do anything like this. Uh, Jim's rather local and was able to come up. I was able to size his wrist just perfect. And so that's why, you know, normally I'm sending a watch strap off to wherever and I never see it again, you know? So it's really nice to be able to see it, the finished product on the gentleman's wrist. And I really hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of that. Uh, I know I will. It's just yeah. everything I had hoped it would be. And uh, you did just a beautiful job on the strap. It, and uh, I, I just wanted an alligator because it's kind of special and it's a Florida thing. Yeah, right. right. We see alligators. Yeah, we're in Florida. <laughs> yeah. 
I said so, that on that one show where it's, you know, we're in gator country. And <laughs> the odd thing is Jim's a subscriber to the channel and getting to know him. We're both, you know, like me from Michigan State and Penn State? Or no, where'd you go? Pennsylvania, Delaware Valley. Okay, we're both a, have agronomy degrees, which is the science of turf grass management for like golf courses. I worked on golf courses for years and so did Jim. So maybe there's something to people that work on golf courses and watches. I don't know. But <laughs> man, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. No, that's awesome. It. Yeah. And thanks for inspiring me to pull the trigger and uh, get a really nice watch. Very cool. I appreciate it. Wow, what a great guy Jim is. Thank you so much, Jim, for allowing me to make the strap for you, ordering the strap, and uh, coming in for the interview, letting me fit you, and having your watch for the whole week. You know, he had just bought it and then gave it to me for a week. So here it is. That's before I made the strap. Still has the bracelet on there. And what a beautiful watch. It really is cool. You should see it in person. I mean, the, the pictures do something, but man, seeing it in person is great. There's the looms. Awesome looms that Zinn makes with the Super Luminova. And Jim's model, you know, it's, it's a 104. It's out of a series of four different indice watches. So it's the 104 STSAI, which represents indices. And then his is the B model for the blue dial. I'll show those coming up here shortly out of the catalog. But, you know, I wanted to also talk about, because not only has Jim now ordered a strap, I've had some other people order straps. And I always say this on every show, and it's the truth. I'm not here to sell straps. If you want to buy a strap, you know, no, I'm not going to feel bad if you buy a strap from me. I mean, that's, you know, also another thing that I do. So I'm not trying to discourage or encourage. I'm pretty indifferent about it. I, I really am. I, I appreciate the business. But the main focus of Strap a Watch, this channel, is all about reviewing particular watches, uh, talking about watches, and promoting the wearing of watches. Um, you know, I just happen to be a leather crafter that's a huge watch enthusiast. And so it just makes sense, you know, uh, recently, and just really, re really recently, last few months, I have focused uh, primarily on making leather watch straps, where I used to make a lot more stuff was for sale on my website. And one of the things I used to really specialize were in these, uh, these placemats, okay? Uh, you know, placemats on a dining table, and uh, I, I've, you know, still sell those from time to time, but they're so time consuming, I've had to really jack the price up. So it's kind of supply and demand as well. And here I'm removing Jim's bracelet. And I'll tell you, if you are not comfortable or confident with doing this, especially if you've never done it before, I would recommend you don't do it. Take it to a jeweler, take it to a watchmaker or, you know, a watch repair shop and, and let them do it for you. So here you can see I'm also measuring Jim's lug width, 20 millimeters. So we'll be using 20 millimeter quick release lugs. That's what uh, we're putting on Jim's watch. So, you know, just again with uh, any orders you guys do, just don't don't feel bad if you're ordering from me. I'll still get, get them out to you, okay? And here is the 2019-2020 Zinn catalog that they had sent me. And here is Jim's actual watch. Is that gorgeous or what? So there's the blue dial. They're actually showcasing his, his watch. Those are the other models. So the A, the W, and the B. His is the B. And uh, you can see they come with a matte black dial, a gloss black, and then a white dial. And it talks a little bit about um, the model. And, you know... Like my watch, the the Zen 556i is the really kind of their entry. It is their entry level watch, and I paid oh back when I got mine a few years ago. It was right around a thousand dollars, and you know we didn't really get into the cost of Jim's watch. I think he said it was around sixteen hundred dollars. 
So it's it's a higher end model than mine, that's for sure. And I'm not 100% sure, I'm sorry, of what movement is in there because I know Zen has gone to utilizing uh, Salida movements and I'm not sure which one they're using on this watch. You could probably research that yourself if you're into uh, maybe purchasing this watch. So it's just like what Jim was talking about. He researched for hours and hours. He was thinking of a Christopher Ward, some other models, until he finally settled on this particular watch that he he bought. And that, that's highly recommendable. You know, do your due diligence. You know, do your research. Find out what you want and, um, and can afford what's in your budget. So here you can see what I'm doing is um, with the point end is where that deployment clasp that end of it fits into one of the buckle holes so it, it clamps down into the buckle hole ideally into the middle buckle hole that way it's um, you know easily able to if expand if you kind of swell during the day um, stuff like that you can adjust it pretty quickly and uh, you know another thing is like that deployment clasp just so you guys know in full disclosure uh, and you can see this all on my website, okay, michaelnapleather.com, under my store page, that the deployment class is an additional $40 cost because I have to buy the deployment class. But it also comes with a uh, buckle. So whatever color deployment class you would order, you would also receive that same color uh, just regular buckle that you could always just change out so you would not ever be just stuck with a deployment clasp you could always put a traditional buckle back on the watch as well and I also have to charge a little bit more because of the time factor of um, the, the quick release lug pins so I think it was fifteen dollars is what I have it priced at now. All these prices are subject to change. Please know that with you know this video being out for years, those prices can change. And and I just had to re up my minimalist wallet. I had them showcased earlier at forty dollars, and I got flooded with orders <laughs> at that price. So I had to raise the price. Okay, so I mean it just it happens. It's supply and demand. It's how the world works. And no, I'm not getting rich off of, you know, selling leather stuff. So, you know, I, I think you can understand that. It's my passion. It's not, you know, it's it's not uh, a, a living. You can't, you know, it's a passion and, and, a, and a hobby, but it's also turned into a business. And just in and also full disclosure, you know, recently... Um, because of growing the channel and learning more about how you can monetize a YouTube channel, one of the things that was highly suggested was with what's called being a coming at like an Amazon affiliate. So in the show more in the description below this video, if you click on there and you can read you know more about what uh, strap a watch the channel, and see my social media links and, and website link. But I've also included all the gear that I use, the camera and production gear to make the show, as well as all my leather tools. And in this, I'll also leave a, uh, a, a link to Barton straps, various Barton straps that I like. So if you can't afford a, a watch strap for me and you're looking for a strap, and especially being a holiday season, I would highly encourage you to click on one of those links because if you do buy anything through those links, I get a real small commission off it and it helps me to pay for the channel. Okay, that's what it's all about. Just full disclosure. But they have, uh, Barton makes really great links and they're the kind of lug pins, the quick release lug pins I use. All right, so here you can see I'm getting really ready, final product. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks again, Jim. God bless you all. Until next time, keep on ticking.